Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys a breakdown of the element gadolinium. These cool looking pieces of metal are gadolinium, and it's, this is the dendritic type, and because of that, I can check these around, and it produces a hollow metal sound. But the cool thing about this metal is that um, this metal is paramagnetic at room temperature, which means it's weakly attracted to a magnet. But here I have a strong neodymium magnet. I can just do this. Get the other chunks I can do it on too. Pretty cool, right? Well, that's not it. The best part about this metal is that you can actually cool it down to the temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit and it will become strongly attracted to a magnet. You can observe a change in its magnetic properties. And also, it heats up slightly when these get attracted to a magnet. At least change temperature when they're exposed to a magnetic field. Like, um, watch what happens. I don't really notice any change in temperature, but believe me, once you um, measure with the thermometer, then you could kind of see some changes going on. But in the future video, I will freeze this metal in my refrigerator in the kitchen in this house, and I will, um, or maybe the freezer, and I will um, uh, put it next to a magnet and see if anything happens. Or maybe some cold winter weather will do the trick. And these interesting magnetic properties of gadolinium actually made this metal find its way into the use of magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. Yeah, if you ever had an MRI before, then you could probably have some of this metal hiding inside you. Well, some people have went on to um, experience certain effects from this metal, like, especially if they have kidney problems. But that's nothing to worry about if it's in a solid form. This is solid gadolinium and it's nothing to worry about. But if you were exposed to gadolinium that way, some stuff might happen to you, but I'm sure you'll be okay. It's not that common. Well, anyway, that's about it that I can save this metal.